Lots of really trying to dictate the points. They're tennis every year here. Well, that was a tricky overhead for Flipkins. It hung in the air for a long time. This match is the quite nip and tuck. Coming off the off-season. Providing you win, the more time on court, the better. Coming off on the wrong side of those 7-6 or 6-7 losses, that's not quite so much fun. 30 left. Mm -hmm. Oh, terrific. That is wonderful. Too, sh too much, yeah. Flipkin's not happy with that. That was... Juice. Really. Did well in the end there, it was hopelessly out of position. And Too good. Seem to affect it. Always going to be punished right now for the defending champion. Good hands, great hands at the nets. I think Mona Bartle would be the happier of the two. Play from Bartle there. But then when you can produce touch like that, oh, good numbers. Did well there. <laughs> and you're not having Laura <laughs> to take away from Vesnina's standard of play.
Wonderful touch again from the Belgian. Again, the ball behind her. And then a winner. So Flipkins now, 4-5. Tough volley first up for Kirsten Flipkins. Wonderful again. On the forehand side, kick it out wide. And that'll do it. <laughs> Defending champion through to the final. She's there again, one match away from going back to back at the Marilla Hobart International. Mona Bartle, 6-4, 6-4 over Kirsten Flipkins. One hour and 22 minutes.